Hey everyone, I wanted to do a second update video on my large Phoenix Delta here. So for the past week I've been waiting for one last part on this printer so that I could finish it off. Um, unfortunately it was sitting in my city at a warehouse for a week, uh, finally got delivered today. So um, that was my Canovo uh, silicone heat pad here which I've already attached to the bottom of this. So that's finally done. Um, had a bit of a setback today. Uh, I actually don't have any functional printers right now. Um, I sold my V0 and I sold my um, original Simple Cube, and I actually have to print some PETG mounts for this bed so that I can properly actually mount it. Um, so unfortunately I had to order a kind of cheapo printer on Amazon, which will be here tomorrow. And I ordered some pet G. So, um, I hope to make a video about that. It's a cool little printer. Uh, so I will, I'll be using that kind of as my backup so I can get this up and running, but I do have all my arms, uh, remounted. I have re-greased them with, um, some super lube, some PTFE, uh, super lube grease. So those are all ready. Um, I am experimenting here with a 5015 fan. I've made a really quick bracket here for um, part cooling, so kind of tried to simplify that. We'll see how well that works. I have my Fadus Rapido hot end mounted up on here. I have wired up my board. So I actually harvested my SKR Mini from this, so I had to buy a new board this is a um, Big Tree SKR E3 RRF version 1.1. Um, I've installed Clipper on that, of course. Something a little bit different too about this printer is I'm actually gonna be running this printer from a laptop. Uh, Clipper is gonna be installed on a Linux laptop that I have. So I didn't buy a Raspberry Pi, so I saved $100 on the conversion there, which is really nice. So. Um, I will be actually uh, having a Ultrabook here and it's going to run this printer and it's also going to run my Simple Cube Ultra. Um, I've been making a bit of progress on that too, so um, look for another video of that coming up. Uh, again, I'm going to be using my Bontec LGX uh, Bowden here. I already have my um, hot end uh, kind of like probe here. This is a very high resolution probe for deltas. So it'll make my clipper calibration really, really easy. You can see it's just uh, up there, the actual uh, board up there. And once I calibrate it once, I will unplug the board and I won't have to use it again. It's a one-time calibration. So that's really nice. Um, I do have most of the wiring done on my power supply here, six amp, 24 volts. This of course is a Kinovo 110 volt uh, heated bed. And then I have my PEI uh, magnetic surface here. I have a textured on one side and smooth on the other. Uh, most likely I'm gonna use smooth for the most part. I, I kind of prefer that. So that's kind of a quick update here. Like I say, I'm waiting for my um, new printer to come in tomorrow so I can print out some PEI uh, little mounts for this bed. Um, and then I can actually mount it, um, probably make a video on a calibrating it um, and then hopefully get this printer back up and running. I would like to purchase a webcam so that I can start doing some cool time lapses with this printer. It would be really neat to, to see, I think. Um, so yeah, that's a quick update on this printer here. Um, look out for a update video on my Simple Cube Ultra. I have the frame assembled on that and I have some things that I wanna discuss on that one. There's some cool videos gonna be coming up for that one there too as well. Again, um, if you want, I have a 10% off code with 3hub.ca. Uh, they sell a lot of Fadus hot ends. They do have Rapidos in stock, all that kind of stuff. You can get a discount there. Gives me a little bit of kickback. I appreciate um, everyone who's used that so far. Really helps out the channel so I can build more printers. Um, I am tossing around the idea of buying a Voron Trident a Formbot Voron Trident kit. So potentially buy one of those and compare it to my Simple Cube Ultra. Uh, compare it via price, compare it via print quality, that type of thing. So that would be kind of some neat content and stuff like that. So 
In the next video, you should hopefully see this Delta printing. And then, like I say, I'll go over it a little bit more, uh, kind of do a final wrap up because this printer will be finally complete. All right, thanks everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe.